All right. Post Ignorance Radio with Kevin Blanche. KWCR. Ogden, Manny Utah. Manny Gonzalez here on the controls. He's the... He's turned himself into the IT guru, this old <laughs> freaking engineer here. So we're going to talk the epic salmon collapse and the lies of the media and the lies of the Chamber of Commerce. Now, you know that we did the play-by-play -play on the Damian Lillard All-Star game this weekend. And uh, give me a chance because Damian likes to say... You know, and I, I've known Damien for a long time. I knew him when I was going to school here. So he and I were both on this campus at the same time. We're both being ignored. I'm screaming my head off, Fukushima, Fukushima, the day it happened, going crazy. You know, I'm full of cancer. Damien Lillard's, you know, going crazy as this athlete. Both totally 100% ignored. I, I cannot overstate this. Now, Damien did a... Uh, he did an interview with The Standard. He did a little press conference after, but I talked to him twice uh, Saturday. Real briefly, but this gives me, he wears a shirt. Now, I like this shirt, and you know, he took the high road on this thing. He wears a shirt around, because he wore one. Now, by the way, this is important, because I'm gonna get him to sign it, and then I'm gonna sign it. We'll probably put it on the wall here. Or put them in special elections at Weber State. This is the last Damian and Lillard jersey that will ever be sold at Weber State University. This last one was given to me as a gift by the Weber State bookstore. Now, why is this important? Damian wore one, right? He always wore one. Now, he wears zero now. He wears zero, and he says zero is for Ogden, Oakland, where he's from, on the bay. He, he grew up on the bay. He's got to be connected somewhat with the ocean. And then, of course, Oregon. Well, where's this epic catastrophe happening? Oregon, Washington, on the border. So this shirt is from 95, made in the USA. Everything was made in the USA. This campus was protectionist until this happened. So this cost at the bookstore $9.99. This costs $169. It's usury. I mean, what they did to Damian Lillard on this campus is the same thing, but we both take on the high road. You know, he's got a child now, he, and you can see he's calm, cool, and collected. But my point to all this is, I don't know how he deals with it. This celebrityism, gazillionaire athlete is new. I mean, athletes made a lot of money, but they're not billionaires. This guy, you should see it. I talked to one of his bodyguards, had a long conversation that works for the Trailblazers. This is a billion dollar commodity they turned this kid into. Is he really a person anymore? Or is he a brand? How much Nike contract? You know, they sell socks in there. I know him. You know, he, I liked what he said in the press conference. He says, it wasn't like when I was going to school here. I was just, you know, sitting in a room. I, I knew a lot of people, and, you know, and I knew him. And so, but my point is, is what have we got? How can he even be a human? You should have seen it. You know, he's great. He, he had to walk off the court over to the table. Was I doing it? You know, shake my head. Talk. I said, Damien, you know, I'd like to get an interview with you. I'll try, but... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm allergic to this campus's freaking whoredom. Because that's what they are. They've turned into a bunch of corporate whores. It's disgusting. You know, it, it's disgusting. The whole, the country. So let's get to the salmon, these liars. I'm so pissed off at this, you don't even want to know. So let's start with the Chinook salmon on the Columbia River in Oregon. This is ODFW, Oregon's numbers. Damien likes to say, O for Oakland, O for Ogden, O for Oregon. Okay, let's start with Oregon, the greatest catastrophe, ecological catastrophe in human history. Bill Monroe is provocating all over. Oh, great returns, come fishing. This is your numbers. 2015. Now, I've got them on my camera. I'm putting them here. 2015, returning Chinook salmon. Now, this is important. 
The Shirksanama are the big hallowed beasts of the sea. They grow up to be over 100 pounds. They can go to sea up to eight years. The average Chinook salmon goes to sea for five years. 2015, returning Chinook salmon, they live in the ocean. They only come home, but they all come home. We don't get tide pie poles. Oh, Kevin Blanche does it, a historic low tide. We don't count dead humans in bone marrow transplant centers. I was almost one. Oh, I do. But we count every salmon because Kevin Blanche holds ODFW organs feet to the fire. This is the greatest acute collapse in human history. Now we're going to get to Amy Goodman's epic historic betrayal this morning on Democracy Now. I have, am I, I know Linda Brown. She had her on on there. Oh, my God. Huh. She caveats Chernobyl with the greatest nuclear disaster in history. Chernobyl's not even, doesn't even come close to Fukushima. One core. One car was partially fooled in a shutdown phase at Chernobyl when it blew up. Fukushima, three full core meltdowns. Completely full, blown to smithereens. Four spent fuel pools blown to smithereens, including Unit 3 full of hundreds of thousands of tons of MOX fuel. I mean, not entombed, not nothing. Pushed into the ocean for eight years. 3,000 and we're going on 3,100 days. Here's your numbers. We count all salmon. 2015, they're yelling, screaming, yay, hooray, look at these record returns. 1,337,101. Okay? 2016, NOAA, ODFW. ODFW, who's that? Oregon Division of Fish and Wildlife. WDFW, you can figure that one out from there, I think, kids. Washington. So, they have boys, they have regression, they're very accurate, they're very good. They, they can tell based on what we call skin. That's how many little fish you get out to the sea after they're born. You know? After they hatch. You know, they lay eggs. So, based on projections, ODFW, WFW, know all scientists, University of Washington, University of Oregon, Oregon State University, they all put up their number. Everybody was in total 100 agreement. 2.1 million is going to be the number. And they're accurate as hell. Their regression their models are freaking, they've had decades to fine tune those. Kevin Lash sets his number at 680,000 on the internet. I run, everybody goes crazy. Once his luck, twice his skill. My dad, the legendary basketball coach, that was one of his lines. Here's your number. 697,000. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was an aberration. That's an outlier. That's just, you know, something crazy. But just that's just, I don't know. So, let's get to 2017. ODFW, WFW, NOAA sets their number based on a statement. They're all in agreement. 2.3 million. Kevin Lamp sets his at 480,000. It's the official number. This is by number, not by weight. 488,000. Once is luck, Damian Lillard, twice is skill. Okay. Well, they're starting to get their little bit of attention. Uh, well, well, we can't figure out. We need to blow up some more dams. Blah, blah, blah. blah. They're dying at sea. Fukushima's killing them. Fukushima's left off an energy they pushed into the ocean, which has broke the chain. Big fish eat little fish. The luminescence is gone. The krill and the plankton is gone. The anchovies and sardines collapse. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think these animals eat? Okay, let's fast forward to 2018. Well, Kevin Blitch, you know, I guess he's pretty good. He got two, right? 2018. ODFW. WFW. NOAA. University of Washington. University of Oregon. Oregon State University. All in agreement. Between 2.3 and 2.7 million. The average together, what they had, was close to 2.7 million. They came to agreement. Kevin Latch sets his projection at 333,000. Oh, you're crazy. There's your official number. You know, <laughs> now I'm the scientist. Jeez. Once is luck, twice is skill. Three times is recorded history. So Damian Lillard at the game. So we're up there, you know, he lines up, he's signing autographs, and he's taking the high road because I love how the standard scumbag piece of shit examiner 
does a interview with that with Damien. Those scumbags never covered Damien Lillard when he was here. Nobody did. Jimmer, 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 Jimmer. Which Jimmer is a piece of you know what. He ain't nobody. He ain't nothing. He's a zero as far as it goes. Zero. <laughs> BYU hasn't had a basketball player since Fred Roberts. Since Danny Ainge. Their clown circus, the BYU athletic department, is an absolute joke. Look at their football. Absolute joke. They should be ashamed of themselves. Here's Damian Lillard. I knew the first time I saw him. You know, I knew him here. I used to talk to him all the time. I got cancer. He used to come up to me. Oh, my God. I was sucked up. There's pictures of us together. They were ignoring him. They were ignoring me. I'd been blackballed. He'd been blackballed. Oh, look at him now. They sure want to interview him now. Hmm. Put his interview on the front page of the Standard Exaggerator, the worst rag of a newspaper in the history of humanity, which used to be a powerhouse. Signpost sitting next to me. They ain't going to do nothing. Nobody's going to do nothing. You're all going to go along with the, every one of you on Earth, besides our tiny, you're going down with the ship. You don't care. Oh, this is just salmon. This is a cycle. No, it's not a cycle. So let's get to the next one. That's just here so far. 127,000. Did you know I set my projection to 220,000? I'm going to be dead on. Now, I lowered my projection to 180,000. They lowered theirs to half a million from 960,000. And then they come out and says they're dying in the sea. Well, I lowered mine before they closed fishing. They closed it. It's all emergency closed. Now, they'll open it for a day or two to get you up there. Bill Monroe saying, oh, yay, the coho... You know, this is fraud. It's total fraud. They're telling you, uh, uh, here, let me show you the fraud of Canada. Where are you activists in Canada? You aren't any. There's 0, 0.0. Now, there's a good professor up there named Dana. Dana's a fantastic professor, but he's surely not an activist. He's a professor, and he's fantastic work. He does incredible work. So, that's the stillhead number right now. Right now. You like that? On the verge of extinction. They go to see one or two years. They started to collapse immediately. Oh, they've been going off for years. No, they haven't. Record returns in 2011. Okay, here we go. This is out. This is the scumbag liars in, you know, I like everybody in Canada. Oh, no, the, we're not controlled by the queen. <laughs> Fools, new world order. It's old world order. Up is down, black is white. It's Orwellian. Two plus two is one or three or six or whatever the bleep we tell you it is. And you've gone along. Whatever, Amy Goodman on Democracy Now. Oh, my God. She, I know her personally. I know her really well. She makes me want to throw up. I've never been so disgusted at her. I've been disgusted the last couple of years. She pulls this. Remember, she went to Fukushima, Japan, her camera crew. There was a protest broke out at the emperor's house. She went over there. This woman started to cry and did this incredible interview. They threw it up. <laughs> now she's trying to say it didn't happen. She's ignoring it like everybody else. She, She's pathetic. She's pathetic. Foxconn news is even worse. You right-wingers, great to be run around by your freaking leash. You know, run right out of the house of Windsor. And then the lefties, you're watching this kind of filth because I guess you're too lazy to do your own work. Here's the scumbags of Canada. Where are the activists in Canada? There are none. Where are the activists in the United States? Shiny ball, run along. Run some manufactured hate protest in Portland. That's what they are. So here it is. This is out today, yesterday. Fisheries and Oceans Canada, also known as DFO, had previously forecasted that 4,795,000 sockeye salmon returned to the Fraser River this year. As the run starts, the number has been adjusted to 628,000, just 13% of that original forecast. The state of sockeye salmon is now so dire that some are facing an imminent threat of extinction. So what do they do? They set these numbers and no one cares. They don't care. No one cares. I've come to the conclusion. You know, academia professors, where are they? I mean, you go look on these boards all over. Hey, come study in Maya. Come study in, you know, we're, we're going to Croatia to a castle. Come study in Florence. Come study, I mean, this is all it is. They don't teach shit around here. 
The School of Business, when I taught here, number one undergraduate program in the country via the test, that leads me to Trump. Who did we used to beat when I taught here? But they got bought out. They literally bought. I mean, I have my credential. Let me get my bag if I can reach it. Hold on. That's from the protest. Is I was the first speaker up, and they rank it by hierarchy on the Senate Offrey Ways. <laughs> now I'm just joke. Nothing for me, you to see. Here it is. Here it is. Given to me by Warren Buffett himself. I'm so sick of giving that scumbag freaking thousands of dollars a year for nothing. It's called auto insurance. It's called home insurance. What a rat race. What a scam. Our school business guy named Bill Child stole it. R.C. Willie scumbag imported Chinese oligarchy goods. Him and Dirty Herbie. Clyde Cooley died and they smelled blood in the water. We were protectionists. We used to beat Wharton by half a point. They smelled blood in the water. They move and we want to flip it. They bought them. The supply chain Chinese oligarch thieves came in and offered money. They says, oh, you professors will double your salaries, whatever. <laughs> the professors over there are dirt bags. They should be locked up and put in jail. Don't go see the Dalai Lama. I'm a Chinese. Look at their school. Anybody that's going to school at the water school business over there, you're out of your mind. What do you do? Why, why don't you just take your money and burn it? They don't even rank top 500. It's a, it's, the school's pathetic. When we were number one, via the testing, when I taught there nine years in a row, number one, Dr. Hanley's dead now. You know, how did this happen? A bunch of weakling, well, sell out whores. That's what they've done. It's disgusting. You know, this is the greatest ecological, well, I don't see any scientists. I mean, I'm out of the Nola Gay hangar. Nobody. Just me. And they black, I don't get paid for any of this. I do the play-by-play -play for the games, whatever, because they asked me to. The free university of theory. You know, I'll do it by because I'm not going to, Bow to their golden handcuffs. I'm not going to be one of their whores. Supply chain. Slave made goods in a place that preaches Christianity, Ogden, Utah. You know, ran by the Mormon church. The Board of Regents here should all look in the mirror. They're disgusting. They claim Christianity. They're usury, 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 usury. I mean, it's outrageous. So, Trump today. I like all you Trumpets versus Hillary. Hillary and Trump are identical freaking twins. Literally, twin cousins. Look up their bloodlines. So, Hillary, when she's Secretary of State, the entire world bans Fukushima food from coming into the United States. The whole world is still banned. Still banned. She goes to Fukushima. Oh, it's Benghazi, Benghazi, Benghazi. Who invented that narrative? <laughs> the House of Windsor, Foxconn News, run right by the people that we fought the Revolutionary War against. They got it back. And then you got Amy Goodman on the other side. Greenwashing, hypocrites, well petting panty painters. It's disgusting. It's the ecology, stupid. It's unbelievable that I am the only one reporting this and working this. This is an absolute, the greatest ecological catastrophe collapse in the Pacific. I've never used the word extinction. I use the word genocide. Did they genocide native people? Yeah, they only took out 99.9% .9 of them. They're still natives, but they alter them forever, uh, you think? Well, forever's for, well, for the last couple hundred years they have. This is genocide. Anchovies post-Fukushima have collapsed 99.9%. .9 so you hear, scientists are mystified, they're baffled, they're puzzled, they're stumped, they're purple. That's not science. In fact, that's absolutely the opposite of science. That's hyperbole. They admit now it's, they're dying in the ocean. Oh, it's just warm water, it's cold water, it's too just right water. The blob, the freaking acidification, just all this made up bullshit. What causes acidification? When healthy species die, freaking science 101, kids. The invasive species is the lowest form. That's called pond scum. It's called mold. It's black. It's green. It's academia professors on these universities. When you get rid of the healthy, the pond scum, freaking sleazy move in. That's exactly what's happened. There's nothing left. I mean, the 300 star... Did you remember when all the great... And I'm the one... I hypothesis all this. I, mean, I hypothesis to the freaking... And before it happens all the time.
There's a picture with Warren Buffett and I on this campus with his arm around me. You know why? Because at the hearing thing, and I told him, well, he was having a bad year in 2000. You know, the dirtbag that he is. Take his money and choke on it. I said, you know what I say about you? You know, he's got all this big security around, like Damien does. You know, Damien, you should see the security with him, but he's a, you know, who is he? By the way, NBA basketball is not about winning games. When are you guys going to wake up? You touch. What a pathetic freaking product. I had season tickets first year here, $140. I have courtside season, the first playoff ticket when they won the division in 84, when this product was good, $12 courtside, first playoff game in NBA, uh, Utah Jazz NBA history. Now a regular season joke of a game, 300 bucks. It's not about winning games. It's about sports merchandising. It's all about sports merchandise. Why do you think they change uniforms every week? They wore the same uniforms for 20 years from New Orleans to here. They got a new one every week. You know, Damian Lillard's not a basketball player. To them, he's a product. He's a multi-billion dollar commodity to sell jerseys, to sell shirts, and they change colors every week, to change the color on the floor. You know, he's just like a lot of these guys. He's a rapper now. He's got me. Okay, whatever, Damian. Okay, I got you. You know... So, God, this freaking thing's got a mind. That's Harold Arsenal, you know, 2000. <laughs> so, the salmon collapse. Let me show you. This is his signing. Uh, so, uh, Weber State, this is going to be coming out. We're going to broadcast. Giant crowd. I think it says a lot about Damien showing up here and doing this. And, you know, he brings a lot of joy to a lot of people. Wait till you see this line. You know, he signed autograph for hours. You should see the line. Now, nobody goes to the game. So it, it, it's funny to me. Because I'll tell you why. Because these people are so Freudian. They think they get something signed. They can sell it. You know, he signs too much stuff. It's, in economics, we call that scarcity. Look at this line. Do you think there was this many people ever came to a Damian Lillard game when he played here? Never. Because I went to them all. Every one of them. You're lucky if there was 3,000 people in that freaking purple palace when he played here. And he was incredible. So this is why they showed up. Because they think he signed something, they put it on eBay and sell it. That's exactly why. Now, not all. There's kids. And he brings a lot of joy to the children. You know, because there ain't many kids in that line, is there? They use Damian Lillard up like crazy on this campus. You know, we're calling the games now. I am. Why? Because we're going at the NCAA. I asked Damian, you can hear it. You listen to the podcast. He walks around and says, Damian, we're, we're going against the NCAA. We want to talk about your experience as a student athlete. We're not in sport. We're not about the Chick-fil-A halftime free throw. By the way, Damian Lillard, this is important. Damian Lillard walks onto the floor. Pretty amazing, dude. He had no shot when he was here deep. I mean, he wasn't a shooter. He was a slasher. He could jump and dunk and freaking rebound and score, but he was a slasher. He didn't have no 35-foot jump shot, but I don't think Randy Ray would ever lay the third or He took him out of the game. Oh, Yo, he got one now. He's a work. I mean, he works at this. He works out hard. You know, I understand he's got a child now, 28 years old. So... I said it's changed him. Of course it's changed him. Who wouldn't it? So we love him. I love, I think he's amazing because he's taking the high road on this. But, so he walks on the floor right here. They're having a shootout. You know, lots of the great players. You know, Jimmy DeGraffy's there. You know, he was in my class there when I was a student teacher with Dr. Cooley, number one. You know, another great team in 95. <laughs> what a student that kid was. Damien walks onto the floor, and they've got a contest where you shoot a free throw, then you shoot a half quarter. He gets the third group in, first one to make the three-pointer, or make the half-court shot. He walks in, shoots his three-pointer, nothing but net. Walks over, and I put it on YouTube, it's up there. He walks to midcourt, just exactly like the shot he made in Portland to knock the thunder out. I'm the net, and he raises up his hands and walks right over by us. We got my film. <laughs> Amazing. See the Utah Jazz look at him? Oh, hell no. <laughs> what a joke. By the way, I know Donovan Mitchell, too. I know him from New York. 
You know, he used to live by my daughter. That's, you know, I know her. My daughter used to date Aaron, t uh, Amy's producer for years. Go ask him. Go ask Aaron Mate. Go ask him. Go ask Amy. God, she is such a... I am so... Dis the, the whole world sold out. Who told you? Will they threaten you? Come in and threaten to kill you? How much money you got to have? Uh, until we get people to break ranks, it'd be, but we were a country of cowards. And we're, you don't think we're a country of cowards? Let me start this over.